Card Kaizoku uploaded a new video. Video. Card Kaizoku. Welcome to my latest market review. Uh, we'll be doing this one for the range of November 7th to November 17th, which was the date that my last market review left off on. And speaking of my last market review, I did mention that TCG Player updated their site and broke a lot of my automation. And I made a big deal about not feeling right, having the Patreon tier available when my dashboards weren't working. But I managed to code around it and pull the data a different way, like literally the next day. So I got that resolved and squared away. So dashboard's 100% working again. So if you're interested in access to these dashboards yourself and getting the data earlier without waiting for me to make these kinds of videos, you can subscribe to my Patreon Marketeer tier and I'll grant you access to these dashboards for you to look and peruse at your leisure. But anyway, let's jump right into the market review. So looking at movers um, for the period of November 7th to the 17th, which is also the day since the ban list was announced to be lifted in OP05 on December 8th. We see that ACE has jumped up $160. There was a period where I did remember seeing that a bunch of the ACEs got bought out, Manga ACEs. Manga Soge King also went up $75, and I do believe he is now more expensive than Manga Sabo, so he gets the justice he deserves. Altar Leader Zoro from OP01, still going up in value. Could be also due to the fact that Red gets its cards back in, on December 8th, meaning that he's not dead in the water anymore. I still don't think he's going to be top tier in OP05, but he's at least like B tier. Competitive, like viable, but not as dominating as he is now. We do see uh, Altart Searcher Nami go back up in value now that she's announced to be unbanned on December 8th. Manga Sabo also went up $24. Basically, we just see all the manga rares continue to gain in value. Right here is Manga Shanks, right under him, $23 for this period. And then I think the rest of the increases are due to rumors that they're not going to print any more OP01. And that's just, again, rumors, speculative rumors. There's no validity to that claim. Um, but we do see the market reflect that kind of behavior. And again, I do have to warn you that, like, I heard in Digimon, the same thing happened. People thought they weren't going to print the early sets anymore, and then they did later, and prices plummeted. So invest in these at your own risk. I personally am just going to wait for prices to go down. And if they don't, then oh well. Uh, I'll just wait for Power Creep to take its course, and all the new cards will be better than the old cards at some point. If we look by percent, we do see Ayn jump up like 1,200% from $0.20 cents to $2.72. This is due in part to Starter Deck 10, Red Purple Law, coming into the meta, being viable in tournaments now. Uh, Ayn is a temporary card to use in his deck until we get OP05. She does help him ramp and get a body out. So I do believe that Ayn will probably go back down in price once OP05 is out, but for now, she's one of the best options that Law has. And I do believe there was a Law that won an event that runs Ayn, and even I run Ayn in my OP04 Law list. We also see ulti page 1 go up like 350 and nearly 400% respectively. This is due to purple Luffy coming out very very soon and ulti page 1 is a nasty combo for the deck. Good value. It's actually always been one of the best value combos in purple. And then Vista went up 380%. That one I don't really know why. There's something that I'm not aware of affecting Vista's price. Brook is up thanks to Red Purple Law as well, and he's, again, like Ayn, just a temporary option until we get better cards in OP05 for the deck. Josie also went up, I guess there's some Whitebeard deck, or a deck that runs a Whitebeard package, causing Josie and Vista to go up. Blast Beth going up, is a, it's just one of the best purple events, it's an encounter for 4k. Shanks, regular Shanks went up, this could be for Red Purple Luffy. Ranu went up 87% in anticipation for Blue Black Sakazuki. Ranu is one of the best cards for the deck. Helps you fill your discard, helps you get a card, and he's usable with Houndblaze as an attacker. And then your regular Searcher Nami is still going up in price too since she'll be unbanned soon. This just could be a price correction. I forgot how much she costed before the ban list, but I have a tab that'll show that later, so we'll go over that. Nine Beard also went up in price three to five dollars. This could just be a correction as well. Uh, Nine Kaido went up from five to eight dollars. I think he's undervalued still. 
because he's a pretty key card in purple Luffy. And I feel like $8 for a key card in the deck is pretty cheap. So I, I do expect Kaido to go up even more. And I do know they, they did like that revision pack in one of the booster boxes that um, released a lot of the non-holo, non-foil versions of this Kaido into the wild, but still a great card. Hina continues to climb in price as she's also a key card in Blue Black Sakazuki. She jumped over 100% before and now it's just another 50%. Yeah, let's look at the decreases now for this period. So by price, the largest decreases, I expect them all to be yellow, by the way. And here we see it is indeed yellow cards, alt art, 8 cost katakuri, alt art, 10 mom. Regular 8 cost katakuri drop in like 13 to 20%. And these are probably just corrections because these did shoot up in price quite a bit due to the speculation on the ban list. And everyone thought that yellow would be the top deck, but it turns out they are not as dominating as everyone thought they would be. I think it's either um, Katakuri or Doflamingo or Kid right now. And I did have my eggs in the green basket. I did suspect that Film Kid or Film Doflamingo would be the top meta deck after Red gets hit with the ban list. Meanwhile, everyone thought it would just be Katakuri. But nice to know that they kind of share the dominating spot right now. And that I called it, kind of. Uh, Mihawk going down because people realizing that the... Sakazuki deck next set, the strong one, stronger version, does not run this Mihawk. But the version that does run the Mihawk is still a good deck. Uh, Veg 2k counter, ult art also went down. The 10 cost Doflamingo went down, even though it is run in the film kid decks and film Doflamingo decks. We may see this green Doflamingo go up again in OP06, because they're gonna print a lot more green support. Wanted poster Kaido went down $5. Yeah, it's weird. This one it poster Kaido, I think at one point it was like 25 bucks, like way early on, but it's around like $70, $80 now. Really surprised it was ever that cheap to begin with because I think even at that point in English, we knew the OP05 meta was developing in Japan where Purple Luffy was dominating in the very beginning and Kaido was a key card in that deck. So it goes to show you that uh, even with future knowledge of the next meta, the English market still takes a while to adjust and catch on. So it's good to know that so it's good to know that the insights you can glean from this data can actually help you make some pretty good investments combined with knowledge of future metas. Let's look at decreases by percent. Uh so it's starter deck 10 cards that went down, like half off, pretty much. <laughs> and yeah, this is probably just due to starter deck 10 coming out last week and then having inflated prices because it just released. So actually, let's exclude starter deck 10. And then we can take a look at promo cards if you guys really want. Uh, the biggest increases for this period for promo cards is this Kobe Offline Regional 2023 winner card. Went up 400 bucks. Uh, Gordon continues to go up in price. But we do get a functional reprint of Gordon in OP06, but that's two sets away. And then again, I don't care about promo cards too much. So if you want to see this page, pause the video now. Look at decreases really quick. Serial Luffy is going down a little bit, almost 200 bucks. And we'll just move on to the next section here, movers by set. So for the period of November 7th to the 17th, we do see OP02 was the biggest increase. OP01 still increasing due to rumors of it being no longer in print. Maybe those rumors may have spread to OP02 also, but I think this is just due to Ace being bought up for some reason. Maybe just some ace fanatic out there buying all the manga aces. Uh, OP03 continue to going continue to go up, and then it looks like most of the starter decks going up in price by a bit. Starter deck two went down 40 cents. Starter deck three went down 51 cents. Ten starter deck ten went down to the correction from their release price. Uh, and OP04 actually the only set like to go down in price because none of the cards in OP04 really shine in OP05. But I do predict that in OP06 and then that mid set, uh, what is it called? EB01. We may see OP04 increase due to that because they're going to print future support for some of the leaders and cards from, from OP04. So, really, whenever prices go down, I, I'd say just hold on to your cards. Um, we've seen so far, time and time again, that they print out future support for past cards that make a lot of the old cards go up in value, like with the film starter deck and now the Navy starter deck. They're both soaring in prices due to new decks that came out in OP04 and OP05. So 
If you started in OP04 and you have primarily OP04 cards, don't feel disheartened, just wait. Let's take a look at set value. Uh, we do, well, let's just look at, let's just look at OP only for now. Yeah, pretty much the older the set is, the more expensive it is. OP01, total value of each card if you add them one by one. So let's, I'm only counting cards that are over $5, so let's count all cards actually. So OP01, 3,270 if you want to buy one of every card and they're all charts and whatnot. OP02 come in second at 2,000, OP03 right after at 1,500 and OP04 in last place at 1,200. Would be interesting to see how OP05 looks because actually OP05 does come with meta leaders and meta cards. So it might be even more valuable than OP03 to start, especially with that Oda Luffy. And that would break this trend of how, and it would break the trend of the older the set is, the more expensive it is. But we'll see what happens when that releases. If you look at starter decks, okay, we do still see starter deck 4 being the most valuable now, even though this is one of the least valuable way back. And then starter deck 5 up next, and then 6, the navy one, and then 10. And actually someone brought it to my attention that TCG player doesn't list the rush Zoros and the searcher Namis in starter deck 10 for some reason. So this should be a little higher than 22. And especially those come as 4 ups too. And then I did a video comparing the starter decks by value for OP05 for a new player, so if you want more detailed explanation on these numbers, uh, I have that video up for you to check out. Let's move on to the set value trend. Let's look at OP only. As you can see, OP01 continues to climb in value. OP02, there was a pretty big jump sometime around November 11th to the 12th. OP03 steadily climbing, especially after the uh, ban list news. That's when yellow increased in price and then even though it corrected a little bit by the end it still elevated more than it was before the ban list and then op04 kind of stable it started at 1200 and and right now it's at 1230 so increased but not by much so i'd say it's been pretty stable but overall as a whole all the op cards have only gone up in value since the beginning it is now the most expensive that the card game has ever been so it's a little alarming for new players trying to get into the game, especially since uh, getting old cards is kind of hard to do right now at MSRP. And then at, on the secondhand market, if we see that the price has only gotten higher since I started recording data on the 15th, that might be a little inhibitive to new players trying to get into the game who want to be competitive at least. Look at starter decks. Yeah, starter decks too have only gone up in price, except starter deck 10. Starter Deck 10 started very high and it has gone down since then. And if we look at Starter Decks and OP sets as a whole, yeah, the game has just gotten more and more expensive as the days pass by. So good for people who already have cards, kind of bad for people who are just starting now. I also added this new tab to look at the trends by cards, which is something that the TCG player site already has too, but I have it so that you can compare cards with each other. Yeah, so if you want to see like Manga Shanks from the first day I started recording data, he has only gone up in price. There was a slight decrease on the 30th. And I don't know if that was because of the banlist announcement and Shanks is a red card, but probably not. But I don't know. It's kind of, yeah, October 30th was the day before the banlist was announced. And then November 9th was like a day or two after the banlist was announced to be lifted in OP05. And that's where we see the biggest price changes. But could have been affected by that somehow, even though Shanks is not used in the red decks that got hit. We look at Ace. Yeah, on the 11th, as we mentioned earlier, some Ace fanatic must have bought out all the Aces, <laughs> I guess. All the manga Aces, because he did jump up like over $100. 660 to 790 It's pretty crazy. Doge King also went up from the 7th. He started going up. And then we know Sabo also continued to went up, continued to go up. My English didn't work there for a second. He did decrease at the beginning of when I recorded this data for some reason. And if we compare them all together, we do see that Manga Soge King has passed Sabo around the 11th. But I do feel there's a little bit of justice for Soge King Usopp now. But they're almost back to being equal in price. What else is there to notice? Uh, if we look at cards affected by the ban list, we do see that Nami did get a pretty big drop right after. Yeah, November 1st was when the ban list was announced. He dropped to 160. And then when the ban list was announced to be lifted in OP05, that was around here, right? The 7th and the 8th. That's when she started climbing up steadily. Not steadily, like, <laughs> I 
severely. Now she's more expensive than she's ever been and still climbing. We look at Leader Zoro, one of the leaders hit by the ban list. Oddly enough, he was not affected at all. Just could be that he's a fan favorite character, so the card is valuable no matter what. Yeah, he got more expensive after the ban list was announced, actually. Yeah, interesting to see. Was Law affected by the news? Uh, very ever so slightly. He dropped like four bucks, and now he's even more expensive than he was before. We can take a look at some yellow cards too. So Altar Katakuri Leader. Uh, he was actually going down in price, and then the ban list announcement hit, and he jumped up like from 118 to like 130, 136. And then I think he won something around this time, so he jumped up even more to 140. And then since then, it has corrected a little bit back down to 132, but still 15 bucks more than before the ban list. So cards only got more expensive thanks to the ban list announcements. Let's look at Whitebeard, who was the leader who was completely banned. He dropped from 86 to just 75, and then he's more expensive than ever now by about five bucks. See any other cards to note? Look at Kaido again. One at poster Kaido. Yeah, even from when I started recording the data, he was only like $57, $58, even dropping down to $52. Way undervalued, and then as people realize, oh crap, Purple Luffy's coming soon, huh? We should adapt to that meta. He's climbed up to 80, corrected a little bit to 73. But once we start seeing tournament results for OP05 in English with Purple Luffy, I expect this Kaido to go up even more. I know Odin won something, or was it Kinemon? By the way, Odin is a OP01 card that continues to go up in price. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this period. Uh, if you like these videos, let me know in the comments. And again, if you're interested in browsing through these dashboards on your own without having me make a video on it, I do grant access to these dashboards if you're a Marketeer patron on my Patreon. So check it out at my Patreon if you're interested. And if there's any other kind of stats that you guys would like to see, feel free to let me know. I may add it as a feature into the dashboard. But yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know how to close out this video, so I'll just say, okay, bye. Cardi Kaizoku.